So guys, uh, in this video, I will show you how you set uh, how to set up your YouTube API uh, with no code. So first of all, go to nocodeapi.com and just log in. If you are a new user, so you can sign up, and if you already have uh, signed in, so you can just log in. So I'm using my GitHub login. And now go to your marketplace and find the YouTube uh, API and activate this. So now YouTube API activated, so you have to authenticate uh, your, if click on this uh, create YouTube API button and this drawer will open and authenticate with Google first. And allow, and allow. Now we will go back to uh, no code API page and just give uh, the name uh, the uh, to this API whatever you want to give like uh, YouTube uh, test API and click on create button. So your YouTube endpoint is just ready. Just use this endpoint. If you click on the view doc, so you will see the endpoints you can use. Like you can get the playlist, you can get the playlist items. You can search, uh, you can also get the videos information, you can also get the trending videos, you can also know the subscription of your channels. So let's test this playlist uh, uh, API. So first of all, get some playlist from YouTube and whatever, like let's suppose uh, this channel and go to the playlist and they have lots of playlists uh, and hey, just have you copy this playlist id uh, list is equals to this is the id and uh, just try it button click on playlist id and try it out if you paste over here and execute endpoint so this will return your information about that particular playlist okay so if you need uh, all the videos of a particular playlist that we select choose get the id so click on it playlist item try it out just put the playlist id and you will uh, it will list all the all the uh, videos into that playlist uh, you can also copy this url and go to the browser so yeah, it's a get request uh, so uh, you can get the playlist easily uh, you can also like uh, uh, search like this is a search try it out you can search like javascript and there's a optional parameter you can pass uh, but you can try it now but now i'm just passing query parameter to execute so over here the result is for javascript query uh, we can also uh, uh, get to know the particular information of a video let's suppose we wants to know this is the video and this is the uh, video id and if we pass the id and execute it so we will we got the information about that video uh, if we open into the browser copy and go so we can see this is the title of this video this is the title and this is the description and the thumbnails and the tags and yeah and uh, if you want to know the trending videos so there is no uh, required parameter just uh, click on try it and execute so this will list all the trending videos in the US so you can also pass the uh, reason code in your uh, two digit uh, uh, code so you will get the trending video into your um, country and you can also get to know your subscriptions uh, of your uh, channel and and yeah so this is all the endpoints you can use without any code just authenticate with your google 